before attempting anything I have done in this video yourself, please be aware I accept no responsibility for any accidents that may occur. Hi everyone, after receiving a few email requests on how I wired up the motor, I thought I'd make a short video. I will also name the parts that I have used. Here's a rather crude diagram showing where the wiper motor attaches to the power supply and the wires it uses to connect. This black plug I have in my hand here is the main connector between a computer PSU and its motherboard. You could remove this totally, but I've left it on for this video. Take note of this green wire you can see. This is the always on wire for the PSU. To make the PSU work without the presence of a motherboard, you may need to hot wire this green wire to any black earth wire from the power supply. Here is the make and model of the power supply I have used. It's an Antec AR352. Although any ATX power supply will do the job. Here you can see a power connector from the PSU that you would use to connect the power to any typical DVD ROM device. Note that it has a red 12 volt wire, two black earth wires and a yellow 5 volt wire. For my motor to turn at the correct speed, I have to use the 12 volt power supply and one of the black earth wires. You can simply snip off this plastic plug and wire the red wire to one of the wires on the motor and the black wire to one of the wires on the motor. Here's the motor in place. You can see there's a green wire coming off it and a brown wire. I'm not sure which is which on this and it doesn't seem to matter. However, on the plug there seems to be a third connection which I guess is an intermittent wiper wire. Here's a close up on the diagram of the motor. You can see there's a white multi plug that detaches from the motor which has two wires coming from it which I've wired into the PSU wires. I do get asked quite often what type of motor I used. Well it's a front wiper motor for uh, an Audi or a VW and the part number is 1J2955113. And I paid a fiver for it off eBay. So as you can see from this close up of the diagram, the 12 volt positive power from the PSU, the red wire, is wired into the brown wire on the motor and one of the black earth wires from the PSU connector is wired into the green wire. I've used a bit of heat shrink around the wires to insulate them. I hope that helps those of you that have asked and remember if you've got any questions feel free to drop me an email. Thanks for watching.